you guys welcome back to my channel I am doing things a little differently this video it is my parents 33rd anniversary of their wedding soon and so I want to cook them a nice little dinner uh, to celebrate them so I'm going to bring you guys along to show you what I make for them I am thinking about making them some steak with veggies and maybe some mashed potatoes. Even though I am a vegetarian, I'm not those kind of vegetarians who hate on people who eat meat. I'm not that extreme. And my parents are carnivores. They love meat. They have always loved meat. So I want to treat them with a nice steak. So come along with me. I hope they enjoy it. I'm not an expert at cooking, but hopefully this comes out good for them. I hope so. I hope they like it. So let's go. Vamonos. All right, guys. So we have all the stuff that we need to make our steak. So I am excited to start. Let's do it. So we are going to make a steak, but in a French way. It's called steak au propre. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm probably not, but it's steak au propre. And it pretty much stands for pepper steak and I want to give it a go. I want to try it out and see how it comes out or at least have my parents tell me how it came out. So let's get started. These are all the ingredients you're gonna need. Some parsley, shallots, salt, the filet mignon, uh, fennel seeds, peppercorn, butter, beef broth, heavy whipping cream, olive oil, and some brandy. All right, we're adding two tablespoons of peppercorn. and one teaspoon of the fennel seeds. And we're gonna crush them up. I swear I'm strong. says to crush it up in a mortar and pestle, but I don't have that. So we're putting it in this bowl and crushing it with the shot glass. So let's see how this turns out. So once we have that crushed up, I am going to add a pinch of salt as well to the mix. And then we're gonna cover the steak in all of that. And this is the steak that I got. I don't know if you can see it, but it's completely filled. So we are gonna go ahead and use a cast iron and put it to medium high heat. All right, we're gonna do two teaspoons of butter. going to add them to the cast iron. It says to leave them for two to three minutes on each side for medium rare. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Tell me what's the point if I lose myself. Spend a couple days with nobody else. Holding in my breath just to see if I can find you in my dreams. Oh, I'm getting tired of losing faith in everything I see. The beauty in the stars. 
Okay, now we are going to transfer the meat into a plate. and then we're going to cover this with some foil. So we are going to let that pan cool down because we're going to use it again. But in the meantime, I'm going to cut some Brussels sprouts for them to have along with their steak. And we're going to season it before we cook them. All right, so this mixture that I'm doing for the Brussels sprouts has uh, paprika, cumin, it has ground mustard. Uh, it also has green ancho chili, salt and pepper, and it's just a mixture of all of that. And then we're just going to add all of that in and mix it up. I'm going to do some butter. sprouts and start cutting them. Now for the mashed potatoes, I'm going to go ahead and cheat. I am a little short on time, so we're going to just cheat a little. To make the mashed potatoes mashed potatoes all right so the brussels sprouts and the mashed potatoes are done that seems to be cool enough so we're gonna go ahead and add some butter and olive oil to it and then add the shallots About a minute of sauteing the shallot, we are going to add the brandy. That's broth. <laughs> they look the same. They're both brown colored. Oh yeah, it's brandy. Ooh. Okay, so now we are going to add the beef broth and we're gonna stir it up for about two to three minutes. So this is what it kind of looks like. You can't really tell because it's brown, just like the skillet, but it's calmed down. So we're gonna bring that to a boil. Alright, so it's um, boiling now, so we're going to add the heavy cream. And we're going to stir that for about a minute or two. This is what it looks like. Okay, so this is the final step. We are going to add the juice 
to the steak and I have to go to work but they're gonna eat all of this later and I'm gonna ask if they can kind of like plate it and tell me their honest opinion <laughs> on whether they liked it or not. But here are the steaks. And whenever they're ready, they're gonna eat it. Mm -mm -mm. All right, my beautiful people. I got the verdict for the steak that I did for my parents and they said it was really good. I swear, that's what they said. Here's a little picture. By the way, it is Valentine's Day today, so happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there. So uh, today, before I go to work, I'm going to cook some lunch for me. I wanna do like a, a shrimp salad. So I am going to go ahead and cook up the shrimp right now. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in. And I have these big ass shrimp that I spiced up with condiment and I left it overnight. It's the same recipe that I used for the Brussels sprouts for the steak. So the recipe was ancho chili powder, smoked paprika, uh, ground cumin and ground mustard. And I didn't put salt and pepper because I'm gonna put salt and pepper in like the salad dressing. So that is going to give it like a fiery, smoky uh, taste. So let's go ahead and add these suckers in. Okay. This is how they look. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm not scared. going to flip them. They were on this side for about maybe two, three minutes. Doesn't take long for shrimp to cook. The smaller the shrimp, the faster it cooks. And these are pretty big, but they still don't require a lot of time to cook. Bring the heat down. Mm. Cheers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to set up my salad and I'm gonna go with my favorite arugula. I love arugula so much. So we're gonna get a good bunch. And then I have cut up strawberries as well. Looks pretty. And then I have some walnuts. Good in protein. Crush them up a little bit. That's so cute. And then we are going to add some feta cheese. As well. I like it when there is when my food is sweet and spicy. I love that combo. It's just gonna put a little bit of, of feta cheese as well. And for the dressing, I think I'm gonna do olive oil, salt, pepper. I think that's it. 
the, the shrimp's going to give it like all the flavor. So good. All right, let's add the shrimp. All right. Probably going to do uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add the olive oil, the salt, and the pepper. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like I should have done that before adding the shrimp, but it's okay. We have pepper. We love me some pepper. And we have salt. Give it a go. Let's try. Oh my god, guys. This looks so good already. Got the strawberries, the walnuts, the feta, the shrimp, the arugula. Ugh, so good. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this salad. I added a little bit of uh, white rice as well. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and try the shrimp first to see how it came out. You too. Me too. Love you. Love you. Have a good day. So I think I'm gonna try to um, rub on some condiments a little bit less. It does taste very um, spiced up. But it's still pretty good because with the arugula and the walnuts and the feta and the and the uh, strawberry, it kind of mixes well all together. Mm, mm. That's really good. And it tastes really good with just the olive oil and the salt and pepper. I'm going to give this... Honestly, like a like a nine. <laughs> like a nine, it's really good. All the ingredients together. It works. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. But I think I'm in like my cooking era right now. So Expect to see more recipes in the future. I'm not a great cook. Never have been. I'm decent. But I want to become a great, great cook. Like when I have my children, I want them to be like, Mom, we don't want no McDonald's. We don't want no in and out no Carl's Jr., nothing. Because we love your cooking. And it's better better and healthier than all those fast food places and i'll be like hell yeah just kidding i'll probably be like not today i don't want to cook today we're having in and out but you know what i mean <clears throat> i want to make food for people and have them love my food that'd be nice mm? but mm -mm. thank you for watching Till the end of this video and if you're subscribed to my channel thank you so much from the bottom of my heart if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe i put videos every week and this just makes me happy this makes me happy so when you watch this when this is up it's not going to be valentine's no more but i hope you guys had a good one i hope you guys had a good valentine's and too many more recipes to come Let's do it. Vámonos.